Hi everyone. I just discovered something really cool about the Pearson Realize website that we use with our 7th grade language arts students. Now I am currently logged in as a student using a generic login that I created at the beginning of the year just so all of my students could access the online textbook. But now I think that I'm going to go back and make each student an, their own account even though it's extraordinarily time consuming because of the fact that they can access the interactive worksheets. Now when a student logs in it takes them to this main screen where they can choose between programs, classes, and grades. Now if they choose on classes, all right, it's going to take them to this screen. And what they want to do is they want to come over here to eText and Tools and they want to scroll down to where it says Active eBook. Now once they get into the active ebook, it's going to actually take them into the interactive textbook where they can complete a lot of activities and it gives them an online writer's notebook for them to record thoughts and ideas about the different readings that they're doing. But for the interactive worksheets, what you have to do, what they would have to do is go up to where it says active ebook and then click on student content then they get two choices to stay in the literature active ebook or to come over here to the literature interactive worksheets now once they're in the interactive worksheets it literally will default to wherever they left off previously so this is where I was when I logged out to log back in to show you how to do this all right. In order to access all of the worksheets, you come up here to these upside down steps and you click and this will give you access to all of the units and stories in the textbook. Now right now I am in Unit 1, Part 2, and in the story Ricky Tiki Tavi. You can see that as I click, the little blue box moves. This tells you the path that you've taken. So once you click on the story that you want, you want to click on Selection Support. And this will take you to all the interactive worksheets. Now I really like the Vocabulary Builder worksheets. I really think they help the kids to work with the vocabulary so that they have a better understanding of it. Now in the interactive worksheet, the students have the ability to write in the text box. They can change the color and then they can also change the size of the font and then they would just simply type into the box their responses. So once they're satisfied with all of their responses, all right, they could save it to their online account but I thought a really a much cooler thing would be to have them submit them into the Google Classroom. So what they could do is if they come up here to where it says print, they have two options. If they're working on their computer at home, they can technically save it as a PDF from the print screen. But you can also save it to Google Drive. If they were working on the Chromebooks, this option would be save to Google Drive. So if I click Save to Google Drive, now it's going to take save this document to my WTSDNJ.com account. And then all I have to do is click Save. And when I go into my Google account, then I will find the document there in my drive. I didn't change the name of the document, but I could do it from here. Now the student could take this PDF and they could add it to an assignment that's in your classroom. I hope that you do this with your students. It's really awesome and it would save lots of paper. Good luck. Thanks for watching.